back to another Reality Check 3D printing video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TiVo Michelangelo. That's right, this is a small little portable printer and it's a, it's a great little printer in the sense that it has everything all in one. No loose power supplies. Uh, you can actually just pick this whole unit up and move it as it is. And it's very, very, very high precision and a very good quality printer. So what I wanna do is I just wanna show you some of the prints that we've done with it so far. Plus I wanted to do a quick little comparison to the Ender. Also I wanna show you guys some of the little extra features of this printer so you can see why I think it is such a great little printer. Okay, number one, just like the actual Michelangelo, you can print David, right? You can you can actually get a sculpture of David going right there. This one has a hole in the top so you could put like, you know, pens or your, your printed items or whatever you want. We've also got like a little sculpture of Moses right here that we printed, which is really, really awesome. The quality of him is really sweet. We made him in a hollow mode, believe it or not. He is hollow on the inside. And of course, we also did the, the, the rocket ship to make sure that we didn't have any issues with our Z axis. And as you can see, it is just flawless. So this printer is very good at printing pretty much anything you throw at it. The very first thing I ever printed with it, other than its test, was this uh, pyramid right here. And it turned out great as well. So uh, one thing I do want to say about this printer is, is that it, it came really just working perfectly. Not only does it have you know a fan over here to cool the parts, but it has a second fan right there. So it's got two fans just for the actual plastic, plus it has the main fan to, to do the nozzle right there. So you've got your three fans on this one piece, which is just perfect. The Ender 2 over here, the one problem with it is it only came with one fan, so we had to add this attachment to make it so it did not only the part and the nozzle at the same time. So without this attachment, you're not getting both. So although the Ender 2 is a great little machine, it did not come with the fans like this guy does right here. Number two, the power supply is all built into this unit right here, whereas on the Ender over here, this power supply is kind of a separate unit, so we have to actually kind of move this this thing around with it and although like I said this printer is a beautiful great working little printer it's just not as easy and, and, and as well made as this one right here. Uh, another little thing this one does have a heated bed you'll notice anytime you've got an actual cable attached to the bed it's because the bed is heated this one over here is not a heated bed so you could of course add heated bed attachment to it but for right now it doesn't have it and I'll say it doesn't need it I mean I printed all these items right here without a problem and it worked just fine so the only other thing about this printer that makes it a little bit different from like the Creality printers is of course the nozzle is a, is, is a much different type of a nozzle it's got a much larger gear over here and, and really it, it works in, superior in my mind I really like the TiVo products. I like how they come together. Creality is an amazing brand. The CR10 stuff is really, really good, but the TiVos just happen to be a little nicer, I think, in my opinion. And this guy comes in just over $200. So for a beginning printer, for something that, you know, could go in any classroom or, you know, pretty much in any business place, this is a great looking one and it prints really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some time lapses of the different prints that we did with it. Plus, I do want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know if you guys like this printer, what you don't like about it, what you do like about it, or what you would prefer to see in printers in the future, because a lot of these manufacturers that are coming out with these printers nonstop, I'm sure they're interested in the feedback. As for myself with this little printer, I don't plan on doing really any upgrades to it other than adding the actual Raspberry Pi. I like to make my printers wireless, but I don't think I'm gonna add any lights to this guy. And as far as the actual you know, printer itself, everything seems to print just fine. It even has this little Z you know, lead access piece right here, so I don't need to print any attachment for that. Uh, so far, it's printed wonderfully. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.